what's happening? What is happening today, man? Can we? Are we coming in with a song or no? Yeah, so are we coming in with a song or no? You told us Valentine's Day, right? I won. Yeah. Three. I'm not coming in with nothing. Come on. I fuck it. I told her. 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 I'm gonna introduce you. Wow. Hey, 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 hey! hey. hey. You was prepared for something? Yes. Yeah. Y'all had something? I told him to play. I, I prayed for me what? when I walked I in. I was taught the definition of a true man is to never cry. Work till you die. Yeah. Mm. Got to provide. Yeah. Always be the rocks for my fam. Protect and by all means. Yeah. Baby, my relationship is suffering. <laughs> trying to give you what I never had. Yeah. No, don't, don't get it. Don't get it. Come on, come on, come on. Down in my pride. I'm trying to get desperately. Baby, teach me how to love. Show me the way to surrender my heart. Girl, I'm so lost. Teach me how to love. So I can keep my emotions involved. Teach me. Teach me how to love. Fuck with you, niggas doing out here, man. What song is that? You gonna listen? You wanna buy it later? Nah, he gonna listen to it later. What song is that? Though? You, you, you know that music, so chow, cut it out. Oh yeah, music, so chow. Yeah. <laughs> Episode thirty-two. You know what it is. You know how we coming, man. Big shout out to our sponsors. Big shout out to the Halal Bros. You already know what it is. You know, may you step over there and grab some food from the Halal Brothers out there in Queens. Got that new location out there. Um. Queens Village, man. You already know what it is, man. Yeah. This is a special episode today, man. Big shout out to Harlem Rock. Shout out to Georgie, your favorite tomboy. You already know Ricky Hustle Hard. AKA Fat Ricky from Food you know, Street. You already know me, <laughs> man. You know? <laughs> you know? You yeah, understand? Uh, yeah, I'm still astronaut. It, this is a special, <laughs> special episode today, bro. Like, man, hey, listen, shout out to uh, Coach Golf. Shout out to the Bushwhackers, man, my man. Oh. Squeaks. Big shout out to Squeaks. Cool you know? boy. And I want to send a big shout out to uh, Pearls Monroe. I want to send a. Good. I want to send a special shout out to uh, Priscilla. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> oh man, we this is a special episode today, baby. Man, big shout out to my bro Howie, man. Yeah. Big shout out to Howie. Yeah, definitely shout out to Howie. Hey, listen, man, we got a. Damn. Damn. We got somebody in here that, um, I'm just going to say this, right? We won't get right to it. We got legendary ball player from New York City, Brooklyn. Brooklyn. Atlantic City. Mm-hmm. Both. Because we mm-hmm. got to represent both. hmm You know. Virginia. Uh, definitely Virginia. Definitely been around. A tumultuous career. Um, but, but, but a legend. No less. Um, Lenny, Lenny Cook, ladies and gentlemen. Ladies, come on. Lenny Cook. Big girl. Lenny Cook. Thank you. Oh, thank, thank, thank you for you pulling for putting up, me bro. on this platform, bro. Like, it's been an honor. It's all to good. To just communicate with you, talk through social media, whatever. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? Mm-hmm. We're going to we're we're gonna gonna me for that. I appreciate you, bro. Wow. Drop it down a little bit. Yeah. Um... Come on, bro. I don't like how you said that. I don't like how you said that. Fix the phone. Like fix it. Fix it. Somebody fix it. Somebody fix the mic for him. Yeah. Yeah. Right there. Right there. Yeah. Hold on. Somebody fix the mic for him. Hop it, son. Throw that out there. You got it? Yeah, yeah. I'm good. I'm good. Sorry. I'm good. Make sure, yeah, Petey. Thank you, Pete. Petey run this shit. So yep, good, a, good, 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 uh, long John Quiddy you got on. Yeah, it's a polo, though. Yeah, yeah. it's good. That class. Good. <laughs> Canary. <laughs> yeah. Good. Yeah. Good. Good. So we speak, just speaking to the mic. But, um, listen, bro, I want to talk. I want to talk about, I want to talk about your life, your upbringing. I want to talk streets, I want to talk basketball, I want to talk 
NBA. I mm. want to talk about. I want to talk about a lot, but I want to talk about it in a real way. I don't want to talk about it. No, no, no. I'm not a journalist, my nigga. Mm-hmm. You know, people come here because we 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 sit on the couch. We sit in my this, kitchen. We talk. We break bread together. I ain't no fucking journalist. Man. Yeah, it's not an interview. We just yeah. we just chopping it up. Yeah, yeah. We gonna and chop that, it and up. That's what I respect about this, and that's why I hit you like, bro. I got to be on there mm-hmm. because. Most motherfuckers that hit me is they trying to dictate me. Mm. See what I'm saying? I know you're not gonna dictate me. Not at all. At the end of the day, you wanna be able to let me share my story, but mm. in a positive way and all of that. But most people wanna know about, oh, why did you do this? Why? Nah, nah. Mm. We're gonna talk about it in real life. We're gonna talk about it in real life. Yeah. It's not so much about the why, and 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 I think your story is very important. Your story is um. It's, it's definitely, um, I want to say, it's, it's teachable it's, moment. When I watch the documentary, mm-hmm. I'm going to be 100% with you right now, and I'm not even bullshitting. When I watched the documentary, the Lenny Cook documentary uh, premiered, maybe I think it was 2013 mm-hmm. on, on, on Showtime or whatever, mm-hmm. I cried, bro. I cried as a man. I'm gonna tell you when it got to the end, I cried because, um, and we gonna get into it, right? To watch you had come from what you come from, mm-hmm. right? To be where you was was at, and then to not actually live your dream the way you wanted to, mm-hmm. it it touched my soul because I come from, I come from a place where. People have dreams that, that, that are never fulfilled. Mm-hmm. I come from a place that people don't even dream. So when we get an opportunity, it is, it is, it is imperative that we, we hold on to the opportunity and we push hard to try to make it. So um, let's, let's, let's talk about your upbringing, bro. Right, because I know people watching this that that, that may not know who you are, mm-hmm. but we're gonna, we gonna introduce them to who you are and what your story is. You grew up, you was born where? I was born in Atlantic City, New Jersey. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Family, my mom, my dad. People always, I don't even know why people act like I didn't have my mom and my dad in my life. Next week on the 18th, this week on the 18th, my mom and my dad been married for 38 years. Nice. You see what I'm saying? Nice. But because... We're going to get into Debbie and all of that. Mm-hmm. But because I moved with them, they act like my mom left me or my dad left me. That was never the case. I called my mom right now. Cash at me 25. I need 30. I need... Right. Like, that's the life I grew up in. Like, right. my, my my parents never cared about me playing sports. They always provided and made sure I did what I was supposed to do. You get what I'm saying? But I grew up in the Lang City. I was born in Lang City, moved to Pleasantville, played little recreational leagues and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. But my parents had to leave Lang City, and we moved to New York when I was like nine years old. Okay, so when you was li- when you, you was born in Atlantic City, you lived in Atlantic City with your family, mm-hmm. and then y'all moved to New York. Mm-hmm. Where we moved to Queens first. We lived in Queens. Uh, Saint Mar, Saint no 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 Saint yeah. Albans, Queens, mm-hmm. Jamaica Avenue. That's right. I played out there with uh some greats, some greats. So let me ask you: Were you always into basketball at a very early age? I wasn't into basketball at all. At all. At all. I didn't pick this shit up like get serious with it till I got to Brooklyn. Mm, okay, so co- cool. So we in Queens. How old are you? I'm going into my seventh grade year. I went to IS fifty nine. I started hanging with these motherfucking these nuts. <laughs> you hear me? Trouble. Nuts. I'm talking about IS fifty nine used to fight motherfucking uh damn, IS fifty nine. We used to fight these niggas every Friday. You say you niggas like Ricky. <laughs> Always been bad. <laughs> Rick, Always every been Friday. Bad. IS fifty nine, we used to fight Fucking oh, whatever that fucking school is. We whooped them every Friday though. Right. You know what I'm saying? Point is. <laughs> so you always been big. Nah, I was a little nigga back in the day. I was a little nigga. Oh, okay. I was a little nigga. 
So where does basketball fall into place with all of that? Like, where did that come in? When I got to when I got to Brooklyn, when I got to Brooklyn, what age were you? You got to Brooklyn. When I got to Brooklyn, I was like fifteen. So your family moved to Brooklyn. We moved to Brooklyn. We yeah. left Queens. We moved to Bushwick. Okay, you know what I'm saying. We Shout moved out to Bushwick. Man. We moved to Bushwick. We, you know what I mean. Stayed on my fucking uh, Knickerbocker and Decatur. Yeah, you see what I'm saying. We chilled out there for a little bit. My mom like, yo, you hanging with the wrong crowd. That's when I met my bro, Damani, Dashell, all of these guys. You know what I mean? We chilling. And they like, yo, you can play basketball. Jeff Farley started that, though. You didn't know that you could play basketball? I didn't know I was that nice. So, 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 so growing up, like when you was in Queens and Atlantic City, you didn't like play around with it? I played around with it, but I didn't know my potential. Did you play organized ball? The never, team? never, never, never played organized. Never basketball. no pee wee league. None nah, of that? none of that. So you just in the park picking up. Just games. playing. We just played. You know what I mean? I looked up to people from Atlantic City, like oh well, Pappy from Pleasantville. But I looked up to these guys, Quan None of these God bless his soul. You know what I mean? It was these nice. motherfuckers was nice. State championship, high school winners. You know what I mean? And when we left. I told my mom, yo, I got a basketball game. She like, nah, we leaving. Mm. My mom, she said, no, we leave. I had a newbie in my game. This was the league. It was a pal league in Pleasantville. I was playing for newbie and mines. I told my mom, I got a game tonight. She said, you're not playing tonight. We moving. How the mm. fuck you just going to tell me that? Why, like, she, why, why were you moving so fast? Because my dad, my dad was in the streets heavy. You know what I'm saying? And he couldn't be in Lang City no more. Like, he was running with Midget Mobley, the kingpin niggas. I heard of him, like, you see what I'm saying? My right. dad was rocking with them, so we had to get up out of there. Right, 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 right. Um, so you in Brooklyn. You in Bushwick. Mm-hmm. You played at the YMCA? I, I never played at a YMCA. Never, so ever. So let me, let, me, let me ask you this. You're 15 years old. Mm-hmm. You in high school? 15, 16. Yep. 15, 16. Mm-hmm. You going to high school? What high mm-hmm. school were you going to? I went to Franklin K. Franklin K. Lane, the worst high school in okay, New York. Okay, you're in Franklin. You're in Franklin K. Lane, right? Okay. Mm-hmm. You in Lane. So, 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 what are you? What are you doing? Right? Are you in the street? Are you just hanging out and playing ball? Are you? Are you hustling? What is your life like? My life is different. Like, I'm hanging with the wrong crowd. I ain't even hustling or nothing, but I'm fucking with the niggas that's hustling. You see what I'm saying? I ain't doing none of that, but I'm following these niggas because these niggas got my back. So you basically, you, you had no plan. You just chilling. I'm just chilling. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm just chilling. chilling you know what I'm saying? And like I said, we can get back to it, but a dude walked through the park and was like, yo, you got potential. That's how it started. That's what I want to touch on, right? So now you in the you you, you hanging out with, with niggas that's hustling. You in the hood, mm-hmm. you, you, you hanging out. You basically doing hood shit. You 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 in the you in the midst of it, but you're not actually participating in 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 the in the activities, in the, in the activities yeah, right? Yeah, so definitely. you playing you playing ball one day in the park. Is it a just a street ball game? Is it a nah? We just in the park playing. We just regular, stuff, regular pickup just, shit just playing. You know what I mean? And motherfucking Jeff Farley come through. He like, yo, you got potential. I want to invite you to come try out for the Long Island Panthers. That was a school or this a team? Nah, this an AAU program. Okay. You see what I'm saying? And I'm like, well, if you taking me, you taking them too. And that's how it went. And that's how it started. So so one day you're playing ball in the park. You're shooting around. You're playing. And a guy, what's his name? Jeff Farley? He came to say, is he a white guy? Nah, nah. Black dude. Black dude. Black dude. He's so from yeah, Bushwick. From Bushwick. He says, he says to you, look, look like you know how to play. Mm-hmm. Do you want to try out for Long Island Panthers? For Long Island Panthers. Man, give me some, give me some. Okay, because opportunity just kind of basically fell on your lap. Most definitely. Out of nowhere. Most definitely. Right? You're 15, 16 years old. Some man come walk up to you, never seen this dude in your life. Never, ever, ever, ever a day in my life. And you wanted to bring your homies with you. Oh, yeah, that's a fact. Because that's who I've been going to school with every day. Mm. 
This is they've been rocking with me every night. This is Damani and them. Damani, Dashel, Javet, Wesley. Them niggas Muslim? Right? What? Say the names again? Nah, I'm not gonna say the name. Dashel, Damet, what? And then Wesley. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wesley came out of nowhere. Yeah. Wesley. 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 Wesley <laughs> Christian. <laughs> That's a fact. Wesley Baptist. <laughs> yes. And Wesley on the end of that. Yeah, Wesley. Yeah. Yeah. Nah, but like so was you, my you, when you, I got right. right. You know what I mean? You wanted them to try out. Did they did they did did y'all try out together? All of us went. You see what I'm saying? And you all took it serious. Nah. They didn't want nobody else but me. You know what I'm saying? Did they make the AU team? Nah, they didn't make it. But the money, my heart, my my nigga, like Anything I done, he was going to be there. If he didn't, if he couldn't come, I won't doing it. You see what I'm saying? So they allow him to be on the team, and he was good. He was better than me, honestly, at that point in time. You feel like he was better than you? I know he was better than me. Left hand can do it all. Wow, wow. Was basketball his dream? I'm gonna keep it a thousand. No, we gonna keep it a thousand here, nigga. At that point, was it your dream though, or was it just no? Not yet. Not, not yet. not it yet. Wasn't none of y'all dream. Y'all no, not yet. Not yet. Trying to figure out. All right, so so you made the team. I made the team. No, so we get we get in the gym. We in Queens. God bless his soul. Tyrone Green is my first coach ever. Like my first real coach. He didn't coach Lamar Odom, Shamika Hallsclaw. All of these motherfuckers that's pros, you mm-hmm. know what I mean? So at the tryout, he like, yo, none of y'all good enough to make my team. So you know what I did? I said, the fuck now. I said, you don't even know me to tell me I can't make your fucking team. So you's a hothead. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty much. You're not gonna tell me what I can't. And God bless his soul. Kobe said this shit to me in 2004. Don't let nobody tell you what you can and cannot do. That's right. So for him to tell me at 15, 16 years old, I can't make his team because you coach pros like Ron Artest, Shamika Oswald, Lamar Odom, that don't mean I can't make this motherfucking team. These motherfuckers ain't here now. So is that at that point, is that what you want to do? You want to, When did it become something that you wanted to do? When, after that tryout, I bust everybody ass. <laughs> and he told me, you're not going back to Franklin K. Lane and he gonna get me a scholarship to LaSalle Academy where Ron Artest and God Sham God went. He see it. I knew he that see it. there could be yeah. something special. Once they, once they start talking that, once they start that? talking that, we move when to school. When, when, when you taking me from public school to Catholic school, yeah, with a free I, ride, I, I, I got something. Yep. With a free I ride at that, I, I, did, I didn't like it. it. I didn't like it. With no oh, girls there, yeah. but we had to go to school across the street. Yep. And you were sneaking over there. Game. You were sneaking over there. I don't know what that is, me. I was I was going there before I went to school. What the fuck you talking about? was with the shits. Yeah, I was with all the shits, man. They they don't understand, bro. I I I miss most of my practices. Because I would go to Bishop Lachlan School in Brooklyn yeah. and practice with them because they had girls. Mm. <laughs> right, because all boys yeah. school. That happened later on, though, right? No, this was high school. Bishop Lachlan, high school. Yeah. I know Bishop Lachlan, nigga. What the so, yeah, Addison was just like, I can do whatever I want. I'm nice. Especially after they started ranking me. Right, you're like, when they started I can do whatever ranking I want. Me. Hold I'm on, nice. let's slow up though. We're going to get to that, though. Because I want to I wanna, I wanna give people opportunity to, to follow the story. You made the team. Mm-hmm. You 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 starting to feel like you want to pursue basketball. Well, definitely. Right? Did you realize that you was nice at this time now? Not 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 that first year. Nah. Because I wasn't ranked. Like I'm I'm hearing about the Omar Cooks. The Omar Cooks. Shout out to Omar Cooks. That's, that's, right that's my you big know, we, we, I got a story oh, about oh. I got we, we, we know from. But yeah, he's yeah. from there. I, I, I guess. I'm but, from but where you know him from? Oh. From his family. Oh, okay. Because I know his family. <laughs> okay, yeah. I know Omar. Because we cook. I know Omar too. Okay. 
Books. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, but but what I'm saying is like these guys is the guys. Once I got the LaSalle, mm-hmm. this is these are the guys that I'm hearing about. Omar Cook at Christ the King, Andre Bird at Rice, Kyle Cuff at Rice, Julius Hodges St. Ray's. Like these are the guys that's making these are, noise. The, and those are your your competition. They, not, those are the ones you. That's what I gotta deal with on a day to day basis. Curtis man. Sumter, like these niggas is this is, high, this, this is high school ball. High school. Yeah. Now let me ask you this stuff. Not to cut you off. That was a time when there was a lot of high school noise. Like yeah. they was. Right. Now, this is yeah. now this yeah. a lot of what, high school noise at about, one time. Hey, big bro. What I'm talking about, I think, is the best high school basketball in history. Yeah. It was mad. Everybody took the same New time. York City, bro. Same time. You, you had your guy Sham guys. You had your uh, 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 Ron Artest and mm-hmm. all of them guys. You see what I'm saying? Don't but when I got games, when I got on that scene, bro, it was different. It was different, bro. Yeah, to really be balling. Yeah. Um. At this point, how did you how did your homies feel? Now they didn't. That guys like Damani that that really played basketball that didn't make it. Mm-hmm. How was he feeling about what's happening to you? Because this is like overnight. As far as high school, yeah, because you just went, went you went from being playing in the park for fun to now instantly overnight now you playing organized basketball, full scholarship, and right. at a Catholic school. Uh, there you go. How, how does you, how does the homies feel? No, they they loving it because I, I we I move with a. Rich white family, they're gonna be there. I'm Jack. Uh, I'm I'm Will Smith. Well, I move with the rich. Back up there, rich white family. Back up to the rich white family. Back up to the rich white family. Yeah, was like, it hard for you to learn organized basketball when you were in high school? Like, was it difficult for you, or was it an easy transition? No, you yeah, didn't even know. I just had an ego, and I'm gonna go get mine, and that's what I'm gonna still do to this day. I'm gonna go get mine. Yo, come on, give me some class. He still got ego. Come on, let's go. <laughs> Big egos over here, nigga. Big egos. All it took is for that coach to say no, and it was like it created a monster. That's right. Mm -hmm. Um, rich white family. (laughs) Where'd they come from? Webster and motherfucking some other niggas. Different strokes. Different strokes. I ain't never been none of that. Rich white family. How did that go? It was Will Smith. (laughs) I was fresh print. Come on. on. I was fresh print. How did that go? It was that. So there was at that tryout. Uh-huh. Her son Debbie, which is like my mom still to this day. Shout out to Debbie because I, I saw her on the on the back of the money. That's yeah. my mom. Right. Oh, but, so you had to have that certain address to go to that Catholic school. Nah, I use my Brooklyn. You use Brooklyn address. My mom left. What are you talking? Oh, about? Oh, so you ain't they make you move with them because of the address nah, thing. Nah, okay. We gonna get into that. Oh my. <laughs> we gonna get into Slow that. Down, baby. But <laughs> she was there. She was there at the tryout when we got there. Right. You see what I'm saying? Me, Damani, all of us. Well, now, when you say she was at the trial, what's what is her interest to just pop? Just her her son was on that team. Her okay. actual son. Her son. Okay, got it. Was on that team. Now, Justin Howell, she already took Justin Howell in too. Now, Justin Howell played at Patterson Catholic. Patterson Catholic. He fucked up. You know what I mean? Made some mistakes or whatever. I was the next best thing. Wait, so is that like a normal thing? Like, just take someone in because they're playing ball? Fuck yeah. Yeah, okay, okay. That's a normal thing. Just go, get, just go pick up a black baby? Yeah. 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 She was on her, what's the actress name? She was on Angela Jolie shit. She was on Angela Jolie shit. She was shit. Adopting black little babies, yeah. That's what it was about back then. So she says, oh, I want this nigga. Oh, no, not this nigga. No, I want this nigga. I want this nigga. No, I want this nigga. I see this nigga. Oh, no. I like this nigga. I want this nigga. Give me that little man, Dingo Warrior. Give me that one right there. And, they, and they're doing this for what though? They doing this, but I don't love. Me, me is, it, is it? Well, my, is my, it a money my parents. Thing? It's like uh, a stock. It's like a stock. My parents thought it was pay off the loan to me. Right. You get what I'm saying? Because if I would have went to Emporia, Virginia, with my mom and my dad, when they left uh, to go back to Virginia, okay. mm. I would not be Lenny Cook. I would right. always still been Leonard. Right. You get what I'm saying? Because I would have never got the opportunities out there as I got in New York. Because you wouldn't even think about playing basketball. I'd have played probably, but oh, I would not got shit. seen the way I got seen in New York. Right. Right. Um.
are they? What I'm trying to understand is that are, are are they doing that in in the hopes of gaining financial gain later on? I, I can't I can't answer I can't say that's the case in that situation right, because right. they're already rich. So it was love. Okay, I got you. You get what I'm saying? They were just you. trying to put kids in better situations. In better situation. I got that's you. That's the so way of giving back. Them. And did you did you move in with them? I did. Where, for where? three years. Where? I lived in Old Tapan. Old Tapan. That's yeah. in uh, Jersey. Right Shout out to Jersey. That's right. Mean? That's not far from here. Definitely. I'm living good. And when I say I'm living good, I'm talking about motherfucker. I'm living. good. Great. How did your parents feel about that? They question. loved it. They loved the simple fact that, but see, my parents thought I was going to school every day. I won't even go to school. I was born to fucking Brooklyn. So, <laughs> so when, when you're... Whoa, whoa, so, whoa. Hold on. I'm sorry. I no, know sorry, you're yo, yo. it, um, No, that's all right, yo, yo. Um, how did that conversation go when it was presented to your parents that you would be living with somebody else? Like, how did that conversation? Because I know black parents, my mother ain't letting me go nowhere. My Even dad, like, my dad, my father. You're also, you're also a female, though. You're also a female. My father didn't like it. My father didn't want me to do it at all. My mom said, "Let him go." You know what I'm saying? It's the it's for the best know. interest of him. You know what I'm saying? My mom, my dad, my dad, he talk about this shit still to this day. I told you don't go with the devil. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He talk about it still to this day. How was it over there? Did they let you like bring girls? Oh my God. Girl. Girl. Yeah. I had a bitch walk in the snow with no shoes. Whoa. Yeah, I've never been there. He's the greatest. Yeah, yeah, He's the greatest. Yeah, he ever did. He made him do a lap. He's the goddamn greatest. Nah, I was good. Woo! Oh, wow. I, 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 I like, what's the story? Like, where were her shoes? Like, uh, listen, she didn't have any. When they know you, the ne- when they know you, the next up, yeah, they gonna, they gonna had, walk I in that snow. Girl, I was listen. I was the only African American in the house. Yeah, yeah. Well, 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 I started dating the only African American female that was at the school at the time. This motherfucker, she was straight already for life. You know what I mean? Her mom a doctor, her dad a lawyer, like the Huxtables and all of that shit. (laughs) Me, I wasn't that. She a motherfucker. She went to Duke, danced at Duke, four years. Everything, oh, you know what I mean? Yeah. So, but hold, let me finish now. Let him let him finish. Let him finish. But. No, because she, she got a problem. No, no, no. I was, I was, how you, how can I talk on you? How can I talk on all oh, kitchen talk? Whatever. However you want. I right. was fucking everything moving at Old Tapan at that time. Make sure you let him know. 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 Let him Let him know. 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 Let him Let him know. 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 Let him under the bleachers. Nah, I ain't never getting that. Not under the bleachers? Nah, nah, nah. I take them to the crib. To the crib, okay. Well, to the crib. So, <laughs> Debbie, Debbie and them there have a problem when she bringing girls to the crib. Yeah. Woo, shout out to Debbie. <laughs> shout out to Debbie, please. Facilitating it. <laughs> sponsoring that. Yeah, uh, sponsoring that. Yeah. Yeah. Sponsoring the debauchery. Fact. You understand? Mm, mm, mm. He said once he got him to the crib, it was Woo. there. Woo! Jesus Christ. Once he got Christ. him to the crib, it was over. God damn, Jesus Christ. Um... <laughs> I need you to think about this. I'm listening. How are you feeling culturally, right? Mm-hmm. You, you, you basically young hood nigga, mm-hmm. young black male from the inner cities, mm-hmm. right? Now you, now you, you're getting popular playing basketball, mm-hmm. something like a like this this natural uh, talent that you didn't even know that you had, mm-hmm. right? And now you're you're actually becoming like a star, right? You, you're becoming like a celebrity at a young age. At a, at a very young age, and then you're living with a with a with a rich white family. Oh, where, where you at mentally, though? I was flying private, bro. At Fifteen. Woo. Where you at mentally, though, bro? It. I didn't. I. It won't no mental. The money. Come on. I'm going to Vegas. Come on, Gavin. Gavin, you mean Gavin? Mm-hmm. Come on, Gav. Look, this is what I'm doing. I got it. So you're just enjoying the ride, basically. I'm chilling. I don't know that it's a business. Mm. You get what I'm saying? Now nah, I'm chilling. I'm having fun. I'm living life now. 
So and that's so, how so, I took it. So teams or who was selling for you? I had every. I was recruited by every college in the country. They were selling for everyone, you. everyone. You know what I'm saying? But I was loyal to St. John's because I didn't want to leave New York, nigga. I wanted to play at the Garden on Sunday. Mm. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, this back is what we playing. He, he, on he know he know all them all them all them joints in Brooklyn. We ain't playing, far from to come see that game. Kentucky, we playing Louisville on Sunday yep. at the Garden. Yep. I'm not even classics that. Classics and all that. You you. This this is this is around classic, what? Baby. Yeah, 2000, this 2001. This 2000 2001. This is my homecoming. <laughs> yeah, definitely definitely your homecoming. Like De- definitely, that's a fact. This is my home. That's a fact. I can remember when you first came home yeah. and you did the video and you did the shit with the gun to your head. Yeah, yeah. I was like, you see them talking? You see what I'm getting at? <laughs> Do you yeah. see what I'm getting at? Yeah, man. We see it. <laughs> Legendary. Legendary. But I feel Let like me. you guys, you said something really important was that you're kind of just there for the ride at this point, right? And you didn't really understand that it was a business. So all these people around you flying you out, this and that, nobody explains you like... What the tea is like? What's, what's not time? nobody what's explaining time? anything. You're just like you having a good time. Great, we'll see uh, you next week. Yeah, that, and that's how it was, man. But we didn't live in the world of social media either. Like right. I feel like if I had social media, I'd be bigger than LeBron James right now. If I had social media back then, mm-hmm. you see what I'm saying? But all I had was Daily News, New York Times. MTV Cribs came to the crib mm. for me in high school. Mm. Shit like that. That's what I had to go let me, off of. Let me, let me ask you something. Slam. You were in high school. Slam magazine. Right, Slam magazine. You, did, did you, you had, I was on, I was in Slam numerous of times. At good <laughs> and bad. You had a cover? I did a cover. Let yeah. me let me ask you though. That's a point. You becoming you a fixture cover. You, you you made it. In New York City. Basketball, mm-hmm. not just not in, in 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 the right way, right? Because then you you had certain niggas like shout out to Ed Booger Smith. I grew up with Ed. Oh uh, yeah, Booger Booger. Right? Booger so Booger. niggas they was they was in the park with it. Yeah. You was playing high school ball, so it was it was regulated. It was it was <coughs> real basketball. All right? my shit started from high school basketball. Okay, cool. Now, but you hanging out with Gavin? Oh man, right? So I know Gavin. And I know Gavin back in this era, this is my homecoming. Mm-hmm. You doing a lot of fucking? I was doing a lot of fucking. Gavin was doing a lot of fucking. With Gavin, 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 look, listen to me. Gavin would pick me up. Hey, shout out, shout out to Gavin, man. Gavin would pick me, pick me up from motherfucking <laughs> Port Authority. Let me tell you something. And he would tell me, hold on, stop. He would tell me that, yo, get in the back seat. Don't get in the front. You good in the back seat. That's right. Let me just say this. Let's, let's <laughs> That's a fact. I'm gonna tell you this. when I came home, right? See, a lot, a lot of people know this. I come home twice. I come home, 2001, but I go back on the violation, right? Mm-hmm. I come home. I was home only for five months, but within that five months, I was home. We, it was, it was, it was lit. I went out. It was a club back in the days on Houston called Club Chaos. Chaos. Woo! Sunday. One time. Whoa, 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 whoa. Come on, nigga. That's my shit. It was a club. Chaos. Yeah, it was a club chaos. Okay. Me and Daiko and a, and a couple other people, we went out to chaos, and we were standing in front. They didn't know Mano back then. <laughs> Wasn't the Mano that you know? <laughs> okay, you, you watch me. Have, you listen, nigga, you don't watch me walk in clubs with no shirt on, all right? Mm-hmm. In New York City, mm-hmm. all right? We standing out there, Dyke. We trying to figure it out. I turned to my motherfucking left. I see Gavin walking across the street from Houston with a bunch of niggas. He had maybe like 10, 15 niggas. Facts. He had a bandana on his head. He said, what's up, niggas? You, y- y'all good? And I said, yeah, we good. And he walked right up and said, yeah, they with me. And they let us right in. Gavin had <laughs> shit jumping, man. Look, One time for Gavin. Pretty boy. Gavin, Gavin had shit jumping so Rogues, Rogues was dead. Rogues was dead. Rogues, Rogues was always with Gavin at this time. And I want because I'm what I'm saying. Listen, listen, this is that that, that that was very special to me. And that's no yeah, bullshit. And I, shout I, I out to vouch, Gavin. I can vouch for that. When I went on my when I went on my when I went on my uh violation, he wrote me a letter from El Nana Records, El Nana Entertainment. I needed that letter, that I needed it. 
You did it for me. So big oh, shout man. out. Big that's shout my, out to uh, that's my brother, Gavin. Man. Gavin. Um, Anton. Yeah, shout out to Anton. Definitely. That, that, that yep. my bro. Yep. Yep. You know yep. Inga, shout out to Inga. Um, so you hanging out with Gavin? <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you, Rick. No. Inga said shout out to Inga. Yeah, move that way. Hey, first, name, first name basis. Hot <laughs> yeah. no First name basis. Yeah, you know I mean? So listen. <laughs> so this out of you control. Hang out with Gavin. You partying. I'm going to chaos. I'm doing I'm doing it. But bro. how are you doing this and you supposed to be playing them, bro? <laughs> I'm doing this shit because I ain't never expected it. I got Gavin. I got Foxy. I'm going out. I'm hanging out with Foxy. Like niggas love Foxy. Foxy, Foxy. Bitches love Foxy. You like Fox? Did you like Foxy? Oh my god! Not he, 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 he went, He's not gonna get into Inga for real. He, he, no, listen, he went Foxy. He, 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 he not with the he not with the how would you say Foxy yeah, with the not, Foxy? Yeah, Foxy. Yeah, yeah, we ain't okay, good. Play with the hard of hearing, huh? Shout out to Mouse. Uh, oh the, yeah, free mouth. Yeah. Free mouth, free mouth. Okay. With the huh? What'd you say? Not that foxy. Yeah, but at the same Shut time, up. like So we fast forwarded it a little bit because I had my signing party to the Supersonics at Chaos. How did you whoa whoa before we get to the Supersonics because right. we still we still in high school and at some point you become at some point you become the number one high school ball player in the country. Oh. The number one high school basketball player in the United States of a fuck America. Can I get some sound effects now? Okay. okay. Shout out point. to Priscilla. Right? No, 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 not, not in the country. Let's, in the world. let's back this shit up. Back it up. Back it up. <laughs> not just the number one player in the United States, nigga. Okay. I was the number one player in the world. Whoa! The what world, the fuck? Craig? The world, Craig! The world, Craig! The world, Craig! No, the world! You know That's why it's like hard to believe that like nobody but it came, I don't, telling you what to, you know what I mean, do, say. But at the same time, it's like, that, at the like, same time, man, it was crazy because I was, I was never ranked in New York City. Like I said, it was always Omar Cook, Andre Barrett, Kyle Cuff. Motherfucking Talik Brown. All of these motherfuckers. Mm -hmm. I had a point to prove. Let me say this. At some point, right? Because I need people to really grasp what I'm understanding. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. You had two future superstars playing in, that, at, in high school at the same time. And you actually were ranked higher than them. You had Carmelo Anthony. Mm -hmm. Okay? And you had... Um, the nigga from Akron? A nigga from that. No, don't do that. Don't do that. No. Can, that that's LeBron James. You can't do that. That's LeBron James. Yeah. Oh, I'm the LeBron. I'm the. I might be the biggest LeBron James yeah. fan. Yeah, he's. A, All right, so this, you know, I'm yeah. just saying. He's, he's, a, a, he's a starter. He's, he's a, a fan. Right. No, listen, no, no, listen, no, 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 listen. You're a fucking stan. No, listen to me. You're a fucking LeBron stan, nigga. You're fucking LeBron stan. Now listen to me. Let's say put respect on my man. Don't say the nigga from Akron. No, that's who. That's who the fuck he was when he matched up with me. He was a nigga from. Respectfully, you right? He was a nigga from he was a nigga, a nigga from Africa. Right, with a shirt, with an afro. We talking in afro, nigga. It was oh, we talking we talking we talking curly and nothing. We talking in. Cool. He wasn't curly. I'm talking I about you. Yeah. I got you. you. He wasn't curly. I'm talking about then. I got you. This, I'm supposed to be at the dorm. He had a mushy Dickinson afro, nigga. He had, mush, he had a mushy afro, nigga. He had a mushy afro, nigga. No, cause no, he had a mushy afro. <laughs> he had a mushy in afro. Hey, yo. Yeah, yeah, he had a mushy in afro. Like hold Come on, hold on, let me say it. Go ahead. You, yeah, Lenny Cook from I'm New right. York City, from Brooklyn, oh, from Bushwick, Absolutely. from Slash Atlantic City, mm -hmm. was ranked number one okay? over. over LeBron James and Carmelo Anthony. Come on, mm -hmm. can I get something? Come on, man. What the I put my time in, man. I put my time in. You was ranked you see, higher. You see the documentary said, oh, yeah, that's Carmelo, that little nigga nice. I said, yeah. yeah. You grabbed Carmelo by his head. Come here, little I'll nigga. Do it, I'll do it today. Oh! Hold on. 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 Hold
You know what I'm saying? Absolutely. I'm, I'm telling you. Like, Absolutely. I knew he was a pro. I knew he was going to be a Hall of Famer. You get what I'm you saying? You said it, but you grabbed him like this. You said it. Yeah, 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 yeah. He said it. He said he said that little nigga going to go. He, he going. Go. You said man. it. Yeah. I'll speak into that. Make sure. But it's God, all yeah, love. Yeah, yeah. I need, yeah, it's all good. It's all right. I just need to make we, sure. We got to make sure they hear you. <laughs> <laughs> you dropping juice. got to make sure they hear you. But yeah, sure. at the end of the day, like, back to that shit with Gavin. Like, my motherfucking party to go into the NBA. You see what I'm saying? I never got drafted. No, let's stop. Oh, we don't want to jump. We don't I'm, waiting, jump. I'm waiting on you because you're taking too long. Nah, <laughs> we don't want to jump, though, because you got to remember the people is looking and watching. Right, you grab him, Carmelo by his head. Let me just do one time. Come here, 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 <laughs> that's 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 big holler there. Yeah. But listen, okay. so 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 you number one in the country. You hanging out. You 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 you, you, you partying. You you hanging out with, with rappers. Ingo. And and and, and <laughs> shut the yeah, fuck up, right Rick. This nigga funny. <laughs> uh, Stop <laughs> shit. No, for real. Listen. So 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 what I'm saying is, are you at? Is there anybody telling you, is anybody in your ear saying, yo, bro, you got to slow down with the partying, you got to chill out and take this shit more serious? Anybody here telling you that? Yeah. At that time, 2000, 2001, no. Nobody's telling you that. No, no. I didn't meet Clue until 2000, late 2001, and that was the only motherfucker and still to this day. Clue? Yeah, Clue think he nice. He played ball. Ball. trash. No, 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 I ain't talking about basketball. basketball. But he is I'm trash. I'm talking about in life. Bust your ass. No, he would never bust my ass. Clue would never bust my ass. I ain't gonna let you sit here and tell me that. Clue got that bullshit shot. Yeah, 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 I know Clue whole game. I know Clue whole game. We play this level basketball All you gotta do is not let him shoot. He's trash. And he put with a hat on. But, 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 oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. And a do rag. And a do rag. Yeah, and a do rag. Yeah, Shout out to Clue. Shout out to Clue. So but, Clue was the voice but, in your ear. When I met Clue, man, I met Clue, right? One time at the St. John's game. And at the time, I didn't know what I, fu- what I wanted to do. You know what right. I mean? As far as going to college. Because I was going to St. John's. Right. But I met him. And once I left Debbie... I was so kind of like, college, yeah, you're not, nah, you're I ain't never go to college. Oh, you didn't get to college. I ain't never go to college. college. St. John's has like a program. St. John's was recruiting me. So I was know. sitting courtside with Jay-Z, Clue, all of these motherfuckers. Right. You know what I mean? After the games, we would go in the motherfucking locker room and shit. You right. know what I'm saying? I'm talking to Clue. Like, nigga, I used to steal motherfucking cassettes. Of DJ Clue. Yeah. You know what I mean? On Atlantic Avenue in the whole city. You see what I'm saying? You had to have a clue tape. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So when I meet him, I'm telling him my story. You know what I mean? The little history that I got so far. And he like, yo. And I told him, I'm, I, at the time, I'm fucked up. Like, I'm homeless. He t- clue took me in. Yeah, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. You, 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 you said you're homeless. So you're not staying with Debbie and No. How do, how do you not stand with them? Because I met this agency. You're jumping. You're bouncing. No, I'm around. trying to go slow, nigga. I was trying to go slow. <laughs> you skip, you skip it. I was trying to go slow. How did you get? How did you get away from Debbie and them? Because I get I get with an agent. Who is this nigga? A motherfucker from Michigan. Michigan nigga. I went all the way to motherfucking Flint, Michigan, nigga. You know what I mean? Went to Flint? Dunk that water? Nah, nah. Shut this, up. This prior, this, this way before that motherfucking water situation. I'm just saying. <laughs> Shut the fuck your game up. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you were at, you were at Debbie's. Mm-hmm. You was in high school. Yeah. Slinging dick. Yeah, doing oh, yeah. everything Whoa. that you needed to do, right? Yeah, yeah. Most definitely. <laughs> I'm still doing that. <laughs> right. Still slanging, still banging. <laughs> gotcha. So, so was you like your, this so, was your senior year? My senior. So year. when did when? All right. So when did this agent come in and my you just said, year. "Debbie, I'm out." My senior year, I ran into the nigga the night of my motherfucking party at Chaos. The agent had a runner, and he 
took me to motherfucking Hyatt Hotel on 42nd Street, me and Damani, and said, I got this motherfucking bag for you. Are you signing? And I said, where do I sign? It was cash money. Me and Damani left from motherfucking the hotel, went straight to the goddamn NBA store, bought every jersey, every throw them away, and went to the Jacob store and got some jewelry. Wow. So, he signed you. Mm -hmm. Now, his intentions is to sign you to what? He signed you to be to be, to be be an agent. Pick. So, to be a jab pick. So, mm -hmm. he's giving you an advance. How much was that? Would you mind? 350 350 So, you didn't get to your top. Cash. At 18 Cash. years old? 18. I was 18. 18 years old. Debbie was hurt. When I, they had a limo come pick me up. I supposed to have been going to school. They had a limo pick me up from Debbie's house. So, so Debbie's cried. plans was to send you to school? Debbie wanted me to go to school. She wanted you, you know to go to school. And do it. She wanted she me to go to school. Mm -hmm. the right she way. wanted me to go to school. Yeah. She wanted the best for you. Yeah. So she didn't knew. advise you otherwise when. Yeah, hey, but 300, 300 cash, bro, I'm out of here. I, I get back to school. And you got to understand, it's money talks. He young. He don't know what's hold going on. on. Now, but they take you, hold on. Now, if you could go back, would I'm you still to, took I'm, Fuck no. You fuck going to school. Money, nigga. I'm going to St. John for a year. Mm. I'm going to tear the city up, and I'm going to the league. And still keep you. So you got $350,000 cash. Cash. You been the whole three fifty? dollars NBA store jiggle? That shit gone. Been <laughs> gone a long, long that's time. Crazy, ago. Before the limo came. Yeah, that's before the limo came, it was gone. <laughs> before the limo came, it was gone. You got Jacob watches. Oh my God! See, only reason why I got a Jacob watch because Puff took me with him to Michigan. You see what I'm saying? When Puff got on that motherfucking tour bus, Puff had this colorful ass watch on. He had Farnsworth holding his motherfucking jacket. And I like what the fuck kind of watch this nigga got on. I be like when I get back, I'm getting me one. And that's how I found out about Jacob. <laughs> See, this is like an important part of the story, I feel like, too, because most people do get lost in the sauce if no one teaches them the game. Like, that's in music and sports. Anything. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, like ain't... These, but these niggas is somebody. You already advised. Why are you not advising me? Because... It, it, you get what I'm saying? That's how I, I feel about it. I can't Nigga, I'm you. with Puff yeah, at 16, yeah. 17. Why are you? Smoke 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 and mirror. Mirror. No, he said, why y'all not teaching me? At the end being of being around Puff and Being something. around Puff and them too, it's money talks. Man, so I'm around, that. and you got to understand, this is a different type of era too. They probably learning as they go as well. What, what, what year is this? Puff was Puff. Puff was Puff. Puff, 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 Circle back around. Oh, that's my man Puff. He right. took me to Bad Boy Week. Yo, come on, Puff, we out. We gonna do this. Ah, ah, it's on me now. Okay. Yeah, but so why not? Why not teach me the ropes of? I get what yeah, you're saying. But at least the coaches that giving you the money and doing but, this. No, no, no. Like, but, but my thing yeah. is like, if you so, 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 I'm, I'm gonna give you an example. I can't call Puff right now. But but, but but you was my man then. See, but here's the thing, though. Right. But I'm going to tell you, God bless his soul. Huh, but, but, listen, but listen listen to this, though. That was a nigga that rolled with me every day. We're going we gonna to talk about that. Shout out to Hud Six. Rest in peace. I knew Hud Six. Um, a lot of times in this game, us street niggas, we passionate, mm -hmm. right? You a passionate person, mm -hmm. right? I get that from you. But a lot of times we make the mistake of believing that the relationships that we get into are friendship. Friendships. Yeah. I did. I did. I did we that. We think that those relationships are friendship relationships okay. and they're not. Okay. It may just be just for a good time. It may just be hanging out. It may just be business. And we make the mistake of thinking and believing that the people that we come in contact with are oh, our friends. Yeah. Most definitely. I agree with that. You understand? I agree with that. And because at the end of the day, it wasn't Puff's responsibility to tell you about you. It wasn't a lot of these dudes' responsibility to tell you about what you had going on. I was 
thinking about more or less the people that were closer to you, that were in your inner network, what did they have to say about you taking the money and now you not actually going to college? Because now at this point, you did you did you make the did you make the decision to go straight to the NBA yet, or are you still thinking about going to college after you took the money? No, I can go to college now. After oh, so once you whoa, whoa, so I'm. I'm Cause I'm I'm ignorant yeah, to this shit. Yeah, yeah. I can't take. I can't. Thing. You sign on with an agent. You're done. Once you take money, your college eligibility well, is. But what if they don't know? There's no way for them to know. They're gonna always. They're gonna know because he he gave you that money just for you go shopping. Now he's agent, shopping you. It's over oh, with. So now it's it's known that he's shopping it's a deal with. for you. It's public information at that point. Right? Damn. But at the same time, then I had people like. I had Baron Davis at my signing. You see what I'm saying? I had Elton Brand, which is the 76ers general manager, at my signing. Why are you not kicking this knowledge to me? Because it's not their responsibility. Like, mm. you know, so or, the, or they could have got a kickback. They don't even care. Or they could have got a kickback. Who knows? Uh, look, at the end of the day, they could have got, yo, you become chill out. You become take a money this. signer. Now, at the end of the day, you become a money signer. Now, you just dollars. Whatever happens after that, like, business is business. There is no motions in business yeah, no. at the end of the day. So at I this agree. point, it's just like, look, what's the what's what, what are we talking? What type of money are we talking here? And 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 I get it. Like you got people around you, and maybe I'm just saying because I I just can't believe that there wasn't anybody saying yo, like asking you questions for you to question. No, right? Nobody. No, 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 no I, I'm gonna tell you why because I was so Big headed. That's what I'm saying. That That's exactly where I'm getting at. Tell me That's so, what I'm getting at. Hold on. So like, hold on. But it was only one. So, on. so like, but it was only Debbie. Though. You That's get what, what I'm saying? Was That's it right there. It was only so, Debbie. It so wasn't look, nobody else. If you look at like, she yeah. wanted me to do these things. You so you come up and I didn't pay attention. You get what I'm saying? And you influenced by the game. He ain't trying to listen to Debbie. I'm not fuck no. Now, if Debbie would have said, listen, this is what you got. That's Diddy mm. telling me this, I, but Debbie, I'm, I'm, I'm Debbie with my mom. I ain't trying to hear that. I'm trying to get this money. Exactly. Right. That's my whole so point. So you leaving her house is kind of signifies a lot in your life, basically. Like it fucked fuck me. You said you were homeless after that. It fucked me. I've been homeless for a long time after that. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? I so just you, had to you left. You left her house and then went where? To Michigan. That's when I went to Michigan. You see what I'm saying? I'm with the runner that motherfucking... Uh, they the just send these people out. You see what I'm saying? I end up in Flint, Michigan. I took the money with me. And at this point, you think you definitely going to the I'm NBA. going to the league. Nigga, you didn't put me up. Now, I left Michigan. Boom. They made sure I got a high school diploma. Boom. All right, now we sending you to Santa Monica, California. Hold on. They said that they made sure that you had a high school diploma, yeah. so you wasn't really going to school. Now, I, ain't never, I, ain't go, I ain't go to school, bro. I ain't go to school. For what? Other people do. I'm good. You're not, you're not paying attention. You're not going to school. No, not nothing. You see what I'm saying? I got a high school diploma. I don't got no GED, no nothing. And I didn't attend. You mm. hear me? Mm. But that's the game. Yep. Motherfuckers don't realize. Well, these kids. I ain't going to say motherfuckers. These kids don't realize like the trouble you can be in. Use me as an example of what not to do, bro. Let me say this. So you... you 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 in Flint? You get your high school diploma. What's the plan to go after to that? After after to, after, after I got my high school diploma, motherfucker put me up in a spot. I'm in Santa Monica, California. I'm doing it, man. Bitch, I'm on the promenade. I'm living. Mm. You see what I'm saying? The agent is doing all this. Put yeah, put me up. I'm in the same motherfucker that made my baby daddy the movie. Mm -hmm. That's who I'm rocking with at the time. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I'm out there. I end up getting with Malaysia Pargo. Whoa! Shout out to yeah, her. Yeah, yeah, Shout out to her. She don't be hitting me back on my social, but oh, she oh, needs to. Oh, she oh. needs to because you need the motherfucker. Pay respect. What respect is due. Now, when you. Do that. Now, because I, I, I know Malaysia. I, that's, my, Malaysia. that's my homie. And when you say you got up with her, like that. That was my bitch. Oh! <laughs> Oh, but now they're out today. She gonna she gonna see it. She gonna see it. And I want her to see it. Right? <laughs> <laughs> right? 
that hair, was my hair put no cut on that. That, no cut. that was my that bitch. Was my bitch. I, I was on the promenade on the beach in Cali with, that. with leather pants and a motherfucking leather readers so hat. She was, she was your bitch when you had the leather pants on. I know. As he should. Uh, motherfucking leather pants on. Remember, the wild man said, I thought I was Diddy. I thought I was Diddy. So, Malaysia, is it? Is this free? my baby at the time? You it's your girl. My baby. You my girl. It's my baby. You know? Let's Let's go. 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 At the time, she from LA. <laughs> at the time, at the time, she was going to nursing school and all of this. Okay. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> I, I, you hear me? I ain't got a sugar cold nothing for you. I like this because I want to do this type of shit. Uh, let's, let's do it. Let's, let's get, get it. Let's get right to it. It's a lot of them out there. She's trying to get out. She was trying to get an RM with you. What's up? Are you a, she, are you father? Any, she got kids, right? Yeah, I'm not. No, no. This is no, before no. she had kids. We lost, we lost one. Oh wow! <laughs> 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 you got this nigga dropping. He dropping bombs. <laughs> no, I don't care. Cause I, I, cause it's gonna be in my book, bro. Okay? I don't care. I ain't gonna say okay? no names, but it's gonna be in my book, bro. It's in the book. I, I got a lot of these bitches out here. I believe you. Yeah. Right, so, what was his significance in the story? Was she was your girl at the point you were living? Yeah, yeah, she, yeah. Well, well, this, at this point, you got dating. She, she had kids yet or no? No, 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 no. zero. zero. I just want, no, I just want to know if she had kids. No, no, zero, zero. No kids. He 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 introduces her to the athlete life. I did. Oh, and then when she got on her first, her first, her first, her first. That's the why the prelude. No, 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 fuck that. Fuck that. This the prelude. Man. This the prelude. Like before that, her before first that. video shoot for Jesus Walk and all that. Oh. That's big dog. Oh, oh. 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 <laughs> no, I wasn't. No, 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 no. I'm cool with her. I'm cool with her. We met. Which face says otherwise? No, 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 never, no, never. No, no. I'm just, no, I'm just fucking with you, bro. No, it's okay. No, you just ain't fucking with us. But you, you <laughs> tell us the truth. <laughs> yeah, you ain't telling no lie. Right? I, I believe. Not. Okay. All right. How we? I how we was fucking okay. the sister? Ooh, shout yeah, out to Howie. Got the Howie. in there. It's still Howie in there. Yeah, best eye nigga. It's still Howie in there. It's still Howie in there. Best eye nigga. Yeah, no sound. Yeah, no sound. Yeah, no hey, somebody come fix this fucking mic. Come on. Come fix this fucking mic. Come on. It's gonna go fire tonight. Come fix the fucking mic. Come on. Nigga, come on. nigga so melting the mic. Yeah. Wait, wait. Hold on. Let me fix the mic. We skipping a lot of shit. Go slow then, nigga. Go slow. No, no ask questions. No, go slow. Go slow. Go slow. Go slow. Go slow. Yo, go slow. You fucking Malaysia. Okay. I'm gonna drink, man, because this nigga gonna be all night. Get him a drink. Get this nigga a drink. He's gonna be all night. Get this nigga a drink. Nigga over there dating over there beating up, beating up, beating Malaysia pussy up. This nigga crazy. I'm sorry. Who? Mano. Yeah. Not Mano. You. Yeah, that's fine. That was a long time ago, though. <laughs> but then she be acting like she don't know a nigga at all. That's how these bitches be. Like they Golden be- Brooks is one. Yeah. Oh, but, 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 we get to that. No, no, no. We gonna get to that too. Nah, we ain't getting to that. We gonna get to all that. Yeah, nah, we get to all that, nigga. I'm gonna ask you, nigga. Nah, because this for my book, bro. All right, but you can throw it out there a little bit. You ain't gotta give details, but you can throw it out there a little bit. Give the details for the book. Once you spice it here, they're gonna go get the book for the details. Yeah. Uh, give him his cup up. Give him his cup. Get, get, give him his cup. Speaking to the mic. You want. <laughs> <laughs> I got you, nigga. I got you, nigga. It all gets messier. Yeah. You give me no ice? Man. I need ice, bitch. I don't, nigga. I don't, I don't do it like that. All right, so you in L.A.? Yeah, I'm in L.A. With, uh, you you dating Malaysia. Malaysia, Malaysia. At the time. At the time. At the time. And then, and then what's, what's going on then? With the, with just the, chilling. Working you fucking out. raw, obviously. I, I do that any day. Well, I, I was asking oh, this all the time. That's what I do. Hey yo, hey yo, give me some uh, noise on that. Tell me what I do. Man, I ain't found now when it's it. What the fuck you mean? Nigga said, nigga said, I'm fucking wrong. Give me some, give me some noise on that. Yeah, that's what I do. Okay, what? Hey yo, how many kids you have? Nine. Nine kids. Nine kids. We'll get to that. And I'm not done. Now nah, he ain't not done. What fuck you mean? <laughs> Leo, the I get back, get back, get back to the timeline. Let's get back to the timeline. Yeah. Let's get back yeah. to the timeline. Yeah. You fucking right, Malaysia, you're in Malaysia, you're chilling, you're working on. out. Stop! 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 Yo, like, it's in a pause at this time. No, what uh-huh. happened? No, I fuck me. He's he, he trying to go. He's trying to, he trying to get this box yeah, I'm yeah. saying, you're working out. What's up with this team? So I'm out there working out in Cali. You know what I mean? Me and D'Angelo Collins. 
He a nigga from Cali. You know what I mean? But he signed under the same management. Okay. You know what I'm saying? We just chilling, working out every day. You know what I'm saying? And then it's like the draft come. So I come back to New York. You know what I mean? For the draft. You know the bitch probably that I'm talking about right now. So I go back. <laughs> this was my bitch too. What's going on? Charlie. Do you want to This is what? Do you want to be I've been out for a long oh, time. Oh man! I'm a young nigga. Woo! I've been around. Shit, bro. No, you guys, I remember. I remember. I remember. I remember. So that was so okay. That was Royce yeah. across too. This is my, this is my lady now. Scarlett is your lady. This is my lady. What happened in Malaysia? Stop. I, I'm out of here. I'm out of here. I'm, I'm broke away to Malaysia. I'm going back home. She's crying over you. I don't know nothing about that. Nigga's an asshole. No, he said it's a good question. Well, I get, I get back, I get back <laughs> home, right? Mm-hmm. Chilling draft night. Draft night. It's draft night, but that was the plan for you to go to draft night. The plan was for you to say, no, 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 no. I was never going to the draft. Oh, you wasn't going to go to the draft? I was going to chill with Scarlett. I got the baddest right? little bitch around. Yeah, I know Scarlett right? was tough back then. I got the baddest little bitch around. She had a little cut, cut, but I'm cut tell her you, on the face. Yep, yeah. she, was, she was tough. So look, said, yeah. But it oh. fucked me up. I'm going to go. I'm gonna, I'm gonna rewind a little bit. I'm, I'm going to Puff Party, his birthday party. Fat woke up. Fab hit Clue, like, yo, what the fuck is Lenny doing with Scarlet? I'm like, God damn, why the fuck they coming at me like that? What, what, what was the concern that she was with Scarlet? She's a jumbo. And I'm the wife in the bitch, you hear me? Oh. Oh. Like, this is my bitch. <laughs> like, nigga, I'm the hot nigga. Nigga, I'm, I'm with the shit. But I am, I'm. I, but you're misinformed. You're misinformed? They ain't tell me nothing. You ain't check the Kelly. Hold on. They ain't tell me nothing. You ain't telling me nothing. You ain't check the Kelly Blue Book value. Check the coffin. Nah, you know what it was. You gotta look under the hood, bro. You know what it was, though. He's a nasty nigga, but she was she he was letting her ride his face. Oh, all the time. All types. All kind of shit. When he should have just left it as a every now and then, but he he wiped her. Mm Mm-hmm. That's what it was. It's a big fact. I agree with you. So what happened? So draft night. I was with her. You see what I'm saying? We chilling. You know what I mean? She got the shit. Chilling. We get the quit. Name never get called. You know what I'm saying? Hold on. No, 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 no. I what want it because I want to. No, because I want to. I want to. I want to. I want to really grasp this moment. Nah, this moment was fucked this up. Mo- I, right, but I, I need you to really speak to this moment in a 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 way that they really understand where you at. Your plan was to. You I took was the supposed, money. I was you said fuck college. fuck college. You're going to go from high school mm-hmm. straight to the league because this is what people told you exactly. that was going to happen. You were led to believe. And it was never you, unheard of because a lot of people right, before you did it. Right. And you was led to believe that you was a definite. Right. They mm-hmm. told you that you was definite. Well, definitely. You, the, the, at this point, this is 2001. Right, the draft, the draft was in New York City, yeah, 2002 at the Garden. At the Garden, you go to the draft expecting to be drafted. Did you expect to be the first round draft pick? I was. My agent told me I was guaranteed to be a lottery pick. That's a 15, lottery pick, one through fifteen. One through fifteen. No, he said that you was guaranteed. At my signing, he told me he spoke the five teams. That's interested. You see what I'm saying? I'm like, yeah, let's do it. You know what I mean? I don't give a fuck. I know I put the work in there, Phoenix. Me, Karan Butler. I'm busting Karan Butler ass. I'm I'm busting these niggas ass on a day-to-day basis. But at the end of the day, motherfuckers didn't want to take a chance on me. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. What? Hold on. This nigga. You go to the draft expecting to be a lottery pick. Lottery pick. A lottery pick. One through fifteen. Yeah. 
How many how many picks in the first round? 30, Five. 32? 30, yeah. 32? So the after the first round. First round, let's go. So after the first round, your name ain't called. How you feeling? At all. Right. Your name not called in the first round. Now, now first right. 15, oh, now the first 32. Check it. So? I'm Trella. You know what I mean? Me and Scarlett. You and Scarlett? I'm Trella. Definitely. She got panties on this time? No, no so fuck it. no. No, she, she, know not, she know better. Okay. <laughs> wait, for, wait for you to get drafted. So after the, the, the yeah, because if I do, okay, you're going now. She ride your face. Okay, come on, come on. Let's now go. she ain't ride my <laughs> fucking face, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> she waiting to wait for this nigga <laughs> call. She uh, she can she get, she get pregnant, <laughs> nigga. She's she <laughs> yeah. she waiting for the come up. Yep. So look, boom. Name man she called in the first round. So. I call my agent. So you panicky yeah, right now? I, man, I don't even give a fuck Hold about up. it no more, no. What you mean you don't give a fuck about it? Because second round ain't guaranteed money, nigga. Oh, so basically... I need guaranteed money. So basically, I ain't calling the first pick. I don't give a fuck no, about that right now. I'm mad. I mean, the, the first, first round. round. If because I ain't get called the first round, you, you already pissed off because yeah. you ain't called the first yeah, round. Yeah, I'm done. second round is not guaranteed money. guaranteed money. money. So like boom. That. So I call my agent. He like, yo, just chill. Your name won't get called in the second round, bitch. I done put in all these motherfucking workouts. You see what I'm saying? So if I get drafted in the second round, that means I still gotta go try out for somebody. Mm. No, I'm not trying to I put in my time already. And I showed that so I'm basically what you just do. But I just feel like these motherfuckers didn't want to take the risk on a motherfucker like me because I was out here doing this type shit. You a liability. And that's yeah, what I yeah, tell yeah. my that's what I tell the kids. You see what I'm saying? This shit gonna be here regardless. Whether you make it or not, this shit ain't gonna stop. So basically focus up, put that shit to the back, get the bag, and then double back for that. So draft night. June twenty sixth, nigga, two thousand and two. Nigga, I'll never forget it. First round go by. Gone. Second round go by. Gone. Third round go by. There ain't no third round. Oh, nigga, shit. It's just one and two. It's over. <laughs> it's over. It's, it's over. just one and two. What is your what? What did this nigga say? Then is he a white man? He never pick up the phone for me after that. Yeah. What? Whoa, 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 your agent that told you that you was a guaranteed pick in the 2002 draft for the NBA. Lottery. I mean, 1 through 15. One guaranteed. Through 15. Guaranteed. But right? even if I don't be a lottery, he's still giving me motherfuckers, what, 12 more picks. Yep. You so, see what I'm saying? So, so, right after the, at the, when you saw that you didn't, that you didn't, that you didn't get into the NBA, when you saw that you didn't get drafted, what did you do? Did you call him right after? Ah, I cried, bro. I was about to say, that's what I, I that's cried. what I just told I was fucked up. But you know who called me? Who called you, Clue. bro? Clue. Clue called you. Shout out to Clue again. This nigga, man, this nigga always still to this day, man, he came and got me. You hear me? Took me out. We went to the draft party. Everything. These niggas, all these motherfuckers, Amari Stoudemire, Carmelo. You still went to the draft party, though. I still went because Clue you, came and got me. And did told you me go... To, how did you feel walking in knowing that you was I felt like a king. Because this is this was the year these niggas that, knew. Because this was the year that Amari Stoudemire Amari, got drafted. I, Amari Stoudemire? Motherfucking uh Who was first that year? Y'all me. Y'all was first that year, yeah, yeah. Y'all me number one. But first that year. You know what I'm saying? I get he here. Was trash. I get to the that was a waste. I get to Capitale. Y'all mean was trash. I get to Capitale. Am I lying? Y'all mean was trash. His that's legs went out on him. That was a waste of money. Let's stick to the story. That's my opinion. Let's stick to the story. It was worth that. But let's stick to the story. was? You feel so? Y'all mean? Yeah. The best nigga that nigga got the best foot work ever as a big man besides a team of bro. He ain't do shit, though. You bugging. Listen, bugging. So you, so we get you up and you go to the draft party. I'm chilling, nigga. I pull up in the Ferrari. I'm good. My emotions <laughs> is straight now. I don't. Well, yeah, yeah, how, how you how you feeling though? On my way there, yeah. I'm I'm fucked up mentally. Like my dreams is shattered. You know what I mean? I feel like on Christmas Day, motherfucker. You've been asking for this shit for Christmas. All year, you see what I'm saying? And you wake up that shit. And you wake up and that shit ain't there. Damn. At what point did you? No, let's slow down. So you go to the party. 
and you see Amari, you see these niggas showing me all kind of love. You know what I mean? Raymond Felton. Everybody, nigga, I'm talking about the, these niggas is Hall of Famers, bro. These niggas will be Hall of Famers. Mm. You know what I mean? Mm. That shit. It, it it boosted my spirits from how I came leaving out that apartment to going there. But at the end of the day, when I left there, nigga, that shit got me back to zero, nigga. You didn't get drafted. What did Clue say? Like, what now? Nah, he just, he always just been like, yo, bro, you got to stick through it. Like, you, it's a million Let Me Cook stories. You it me? is. It's dude. a million of them. But listen to this, though. Can I ask a question? No, that's a question. And baby. I don't know if I'm jumping, but. You might be jumping. <laughs> Have you ever thought of like did, at any point did you think of playing overseas? You jumping. I played, I played you jumping. overseas. You jumping. I played overseas. You, you are you. jumping. Okay, right. You jump from one to five. It's still not the same though. Like, no, no. no, it's not the same. Yeah. It's not the same. I played because, over there for nine years. Okay, we're gonna okay. get to that. Right? Now you leave you leave that party. Did did you call the agent? No, he's never. Yeah. He stopped. He no, said he stopped you, picking no, up the phone. Okay, phone. but when did you call him? That once the draft was over, you called him. Yeah, he didn't answer. No. <coughs> did Did you call him again? No. For what? Call him one time. No. You call him one time. That's it. That's it. One time. Mike, I ain't gonna give you his last name. He know who the fuck I'm talking about if he watching this shit. What's his name? Mike. No, we might need to catch him. Yeah, Mike. Got, that's I don't want to get him fucked up. Just no, that's like what I'm saying. Did that documentary. I want to get them niggas fucked up. Oh, that's up. not so we'll just get to that. But we want to, you might want to catch Mike. Burn. And really discipline him. I should. As I should. You might want to do that. But no violence. <laughs> no, nah, we ain't doing no violence. <laughs> <laughs> no, no violence. We want to we find Mike, have a stern talk. Yeah. A little, little discipline. We want to we wanna have, we want to jump out the car, you know what I mean? Couple deep and just have a conversation. Yeah. Um... <laughs> But because my, my thing is this, man. This dude guaranteed you a slot, guaranteed you a spot, even though that wasn't for him to guarantee. Now, I'm trying to understand the processes that that that, that these these agents, like, how are, how are they figuring that they're going to that they gonna guarantee you this thing? Because they're using kids, man. They can't. They're using kids. It's no know? guarantee. If I he's telling you, you that to money, sell bro, it, sign. They want you to sign. They're going to tell you. If I give you some money, bro. And you come from the inner city, I'm gonna fuck if it's Detroit, Chicago, Michigan, wherever the fuck you come from. These kids come from poverty. And if a motherfucker offer you that three hundred and fifty allow yourself to be cash in the sitting in your ground, face, bro, I'm out of here, bro. Work? And I ain't okay. never seen yeah. it. It's sitting on the table, cash. I mean back then they, if they offered me three fifty, I would have killed the whole small village, but that's just like <laughs> no one, right? Oh one? No violence. Oh, oh one. Yeah, no violence. violence. Yeah, and, and you and you and give me the go tools. back. Go back. You blew that shit like more this this more this to come. You blew that shit in that year, bro. I mean, I blew it that and that more year, you cause bro. you think it is more to come. This shit ain't nothing. I went to the NBA, NBA store, bro. I spent sixty thousand in the NBA store. Because you remember this is old one though. How many bands did you have? I'm just I bought every jersey home and away. Everyone, for me and Damani. Damani, Damani. We're going to get to Damani. We and we left there and walked across the street because, you know, Jacob was right on the corner. Right, that's right. Corner. That's, yeah. that's all. That's and all then when, that's when I went and got my that's yellow that's bands and my Ooh. blue bands. And what you got, Damani? Whatever he wanted. Damani got everything. Money was his dog. It was his brother. That's my bro. You still, still, you still tight with the money? Oh, yeah. We was just in Atlanta just now Shout fucking out. with rugs. Shout out to Damani. Yeah, we was at Copper Cove. Copper Cove. Oh, the walls are kind of cool. All right, we got to go to um, oh, So, it's 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 disheartening, right? And it's 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 sad, you know, the story, right? Because it's like a a dream deferred. You understand? You know, a dream that's deferred. Like we we dream, we get to a place. And then it's not it's not realized. You never you never got your wings, bro. You didn't get your wings to fly to for you to, to live your best experience through your through your ability and for you to be the, the you know when you think about 
the, the, the class that she was in, the LeBrons, the Carmelos, you know, the Stoudemires, right? We will be having a different conversation if you had went to college for a year. Just for a year, yeah. yeah. Just for a year. Mm -hmm. And then went to the draft the right way, right? I agree. Now, what I want to ask you is this. Looking back at that, thinking about, because this is about decision making, thinking about the decision that you made to take the money and the decision that you made to say, fuck college, I'm going to go straight to the league from high school. Mm -hmm. Do you regret that decision? I do. I do regret it. But at the end of the day, at times, I don't regret it. You know why? I would never have my kids that I got. Mm. I would have never been married to the lady that I got married to, even though we divorced. But I got a beautiful daughter by her. You right. see what I'm saying? It, I do have my ups and downs. You see what I'm saying? With it. But at the end of the day, like all of my children be like, Dad, you played against LeBron James. Watch you played against Carmelo team. Anthony. Right. Yeah. Watch he him. was better than them. Right. Watching watching your peers, watching them excel, watching them become <clears throat> you watch them, they was in high school with you and they went to college and they become NBA superstars. Yeah. Watching them, how does how does that make you feel, bro? It made me feel good because they deserve it. I didn't put the work in that they put in. It took me a long time to be a LeBron James fan, bro. Why? Because I hated him. Because I felt like he stole my joy. Mm. You get what I'm saying? He stole my happiness. But at the end of the day, he deserved everything he got, bro. It was that one game. It wasn't that one game. Because but I that's played, the game. I played, that's the one game that got the national public. Right, that's the game that made him a star. That one and game. But at the end of the day, at the end of the day, this is how I look at it. If my teammate would have hit them two free throws right. with eight seconds left, whether LeBron James hit that motherfucking game one a shot or not, I would still one by one. How would my career be? Because you would have still made the same decision. I, I was always going with that. Mm. Mm. Do you look back and think that your decision making was based off of lack of information or lack of the right people around you. Most definitely. But you seem like you both kind of or which one? Both lack of information or both. both. But I feel like you're in a good place right now where you're not like blaming anybody for it. Hey, definitely, I'm, definitely I'm not. Blaming. No, no, no bitterness. You know why I'm not? Because I don't want. I want to share my story so nobody else have to go through this. Mm. So looking back at younger you, what would you tell yourself today? I, I tell myself, use me as an example of what not to do. None of the bullshit that I've been through. Don't blow your advance. Go I to college. Don't, I don't, I don't, don't take the advance. Don't take the advance. Go to college. Listen, me personally, man, any any kid that's... I don't, it don't even have to do with nothing with sports. Mm. Any kid. Right. You need a two-year college to get associates. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. So, NBA, football, baseball, soccer, you can play fucking tennis, whatever it is. It takes you two years to get an associate. If you're only allowing these kids to do one year in college, you're failing the child. Yeah, you can pay for it later, but what if that kid go to school for that one year and tear some shit yeah. that can't never play that sport no more? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Make that kid go to school for two years. At least. And let them get an associate in something. I don't give a fuck what it is. You get what I'm saying? And that's how I feel about it. I've been going to motherfucking community college to get an associate. Mm -hmm. right, right now. Right now. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, these motherfuckers don't know no better because they got so many people in their ear pulling at them. You're going to be a pro. You're going to be a lawyer. Yep. You're going to be a doctor. You're going to be this. No, fuck out of here. Man. You got to learn how to motherfucking be strong enough to understand and have people in your corner that's there for you. I never had that. And think for yourself. No one owes you shit, right? That's true. 
And that's just and how and I, that's is, just I how I live. It is in any sport or any type of anything where you are the I'll say the prize. A lot of people are pulling from. A lot of people are trying to talk to you because they're trying to get something. Man, everybody, wants, everybody, something. Wants, everybody something. wants something. Everybody wants something. Everybody. everybody. Everybody's in for themselves. Everybody you know, wants something. They're not something. caring about your real well-being. They'll pretend like they are. Right. But and it's, but it's great coaches to, around. You see what I'm saying? I got my first coaching job under Gene Allen in Lang City. You mm-hmm. see what I'm saying? This motherfucker is crazy. He nuts. But I got since I was with him coaching. I got a kid that's in D1. I got a kid that's in D2. You know what I'm saying? That's what matters most to me because you're going to school now. So basically, you spend your time now mentoring and coaching uh, inner city kids. That's what what I'm about, bro. That's what I'm about. Get it together. If it wasn't the life of basketball that you led, what would it have been? Like at 15 before someone picked you up and said, you're good at this. I, I I I don't know. You don't know. I don't know. But you know it's important to go to college at this and point. And I think that at was... At this point, yeah. That what was major in. I'm a, I'm a cook. I'm a chef. I'm yeah. going to school to be a Kitchen time. Let, let, let me ask you this, though. <laughs> Not because I saw this on a, on a documentary. It was like this moment of realization that you, you wasn't going to make... The NBA. You talking about the end when I was crying? Then then you ended up, not even when you was crying, but when you ended up back in Emporium, which was a small town in Virginia, Mm -hmm. and you ended up back there, right? Mm -hmm. And it was like all your dreams and all your opportunities to be this this, this big NBA star Mm -hmm. weren't realized, and now here you are. Baby, girlfriend, and now you're in this small town in Virginia. Mm -hmm. How did you feel, bro? I felt good after the fact because I wish I'd have had them around me from the start. Who that? My mom, my brothers, my sisters. All of them that was in Virginia while I was up here doing dumb shit. If I'd have had they back in then, I probably would have moved differently. They would have set you straight. You see what I'm saying? But my mom and my dad and all of them was in Virginia. So I can just do what I want to do freely without nobody saying nothing. That's a real shit. Do you see a uh, like a blindside type movie coming out in your name? As long as me knows the executive producer. No, I do. I do. No, listen. Listen. I've been looking up to this motherfucker for a long time. But at the end of the day, I'm going to keep it 1,000 with you, though. I'm going I'm to be uh, 1,000 with you. When I first saw that motherfucking movie, The Blind Side, I said they stole my story. Mm. They just used it in a football matter. Mm. I moved with a rich white family. Mm. I became that motherfucker. I just didn't make it. He made it. He played with the Ravens and all of that. But I was a bad bitch. What? And can't, I, I feel it. like I'm... You ever watch Above the Rim? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Every time I come to New York, nigga, it's like seeing Flip Johnson. You mm-hmm. can't take nothing away from me, mm-hmm. nigga, because I did it. Mm-hmm. And that's on I hear that shit. That's on period. You hear that <laughs> <laughs> you know, when I think your story, it's a, it's a, and I said this in a rhyme, cautionary tale for Latinos and black males. You know what I'm saying? Right? That's one of my favorite verses, bro. I listen to this song so much. My daughter loved that fucking song because you say my name. Thank you. You hear me? I asked them, can they play that to introduce it? They said they can play it afterwards. Mm. When you ready close out. Nah, we're going to play it. But. That, that LeBron brother. James James, but end up like Lenny Cook. Cautionary tale for Latinos and, and black, black males. males. Headed for these early cemeteries in crack and, and black jails. And pack jails, yeah. You know, when I, when I wrote that, it came from a real place because I was touched by your story. But a lot of motherfuckers felt like you was throwing shade at me. Nah, no, no. Cautionary tale for Latinos and black males. I'm not throwing shade. What it is is that LeBron James dreams, but end up like Lenny Cook. What I'm saying is that we, sh- we sometimes we shoot 
but we don't we don't put the work in to get to where we need to get I to. Didn't. Right. And and then and then we have these stories of uh of of, of Lenny Cook, of Booker Smith, of Earl Manigo, of so many it's legendary so many, man. players that whole that, lot of game. That that, 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 that again, a dream deferred, bro. And it's not a shot. Cautionary tale for Latinos and black males. You understand? Because it is a cautionary tale. It touched me, bro. I watched that. I watched that. And I, and, I, and, I, and I shed tears as a man. I ain't afraid to say that. I'm not too great, too big, too gangster, too this, too that to say that. Because it touched me. It touched me because I know where you come from. I know where I come from. I know how hard it is to get an opportunity, to have that opportunity, right? For me, coming from from the street, you got could when I look at your story, I understand my story. I never I never was nothing. Okay? I was in the street. I went I went I got in trouble. I was in the street, got in trouble, was in the street, and then I got in big trouble and went away for a long time. And when I came back, I was in the street. Those are the only places I've been. It was the street and prison. And then I had to learn and teach myself and had to educate myself. On, on 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 life, on history, on politics, on, on 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 understanding the world, right? And then I found opportunity, and the opportunity was greater than anything that I ever was get, going through. I needed the opportunity. I, I chased the opportunity because the opportunity was what what was important. Because these these streets, this going back and forth, killing niggas, and all this other shit that we going through. I don't want to say that, but yeah, 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 yeah. No, 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 you understand what I'm saying? Going through what I was going through, that that strife, that pain, in the, but having a dream, having a dream, and we still dreaming, bro, every day because I we never too old, we, it's never over, right? We we have to increase our value, right? So we doing a podcast. Niggas never heard me talk like this. Niggas never heard me sit down with niggas and shit like that. But this is another component to my story. The way we start, we don't have to finish that way. And the way we start, it, where we go, it's up to us. You understand? We don't have to stick to the same narrative. We don't have to stick to the same script about being a certain type of way. We ain't got nothing to prove. Everything that we needed to prove, we proved it a long time ago, nigga. Yeah, we proved it. Fuck we talking about? We proved it a long time ago. You understand? Got to prove what, nigga? We done proved it. But when I think about you and I think about your story and I think about what could have been, and I I always ask myself, because I do my, like, bro, I've researched everything and I remember you being in the clubs. I remember that era. But it's different from seeing it that back then and then really sitting back watching it unfold. And when I think back, it's just like, damn, bro, the NBA, that's like, what in a million? Did you have the opportunity for a young black male coming out the inner cities to be great and for you to really excel? So I wanna I wanna I wanna commend you for for your journey, bro, and for you for having the courage and the and the strength to deal with what you've been going through, to deal with not making it, but at the same time picking yourself up and not blaming the world. Definitely not, not being, being bitter. bitter. Yeah. Not, not hating. Not hating on nobody, man. Your spirit is beautiful, bro. As a as a one black man to another black man, your spirit is beautiful, bro. Like I love where you at as a man. And, and and it's like I want to see you excel, right? So now, what's happening for you now? You in Atlantic City? You coaching? I'm in Atlantic City. Well, I ain't coaching right now. You know what I mean? Because of the COVID shit. Okay. But I okay. coached in Atlantic City. I coached at Middletown ship. But you know what I mean? We got the Stay Hungry tournament, which I think is one of the best tournaments in the country right now, outside. Outside, you gotta yeah. come out there because the shit be jumping. You hear me? But I just, man, just me personally, bro. All I want to do is just share my story, man, and prevent these kids having to go through the things that I went through. What's next for Lenny Cook? 
Lenny Cook is gonna motherfucking make this book mm. and tell the real story the way it should be told, not through that documentary where you had a problem pieces. with the documentary. What, what was the problem with the documentary? They should have known me, you know what I mean? Because they left out a lot of shit. Like a lot of people don't know that I was in a car accident which left me dead on arrival. I was in a wheelchair for two and a half years. Mm. They left all of that shit out. Nigga, wildin'. It's all right, don't worry about it. With the but they left out a lot of shit that was important to me. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And when I say important to me, it, it's not just about basketball. It's just about right. me growing as a person. Like, you didn't get me later on. You tried to tell a, a tale of all the failures, but he trying to bounce back. Nah, motherfucker, I bounced back. I'm a great father. I'm a great mentor. I'm in these streets still. I'm walking around talking to these kids every day. In the hood. Like, that's who I am. And that's who I'm going to always be. Because I don't want nobody else to sit around and talk about, oh, he got in a shell. I was in that shell already. I had to break out of that because my college is, my son is going to college. My daughter's going to college. Like, that's what I'm about. I don't care about nothing else. A lot of people don't realize a lot of people don't realize that you actually did play ball overseas. Yeah, I played over there. I played Where over did you there. Play? I played in Philippines. I played in Brazil. I played in Copenhagen. I played in Kuwait. I played in China. I played. I, I did my thing, and, and I was LeBron James when I was in Philippines, bringing the motherfucking <laughs> country two championships. I, I did that. Yeah. They love me over there. They still want me over there. I got a daughter over there. Whoa, 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 whoa. Philippines. Make some fucking noise. Got a, yeah, got a, got like, a Philippine daughter. No, I, I do. Like, I, I, do. I, got a, I got a daughter over there. going roll over there at the Philippines. I'm going to run. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> right. Right. Hey, fucking with you, man. Well, raw. Nah, but, yeah. <laughs> well, Connor. Yo, so you still balling right now? Fuck you. Like right now, I'm going to pick up shit. You relax. Yeah, I bust ass. <laughs> Right now, pickup yeah, game. Yeah, anybody? I played in the ABA last year. All right. I played for the Camden and Monarchs last year. I just year. told him my bus is What? What? Who, who, who you tell that to? Me? <laughs> <laughs> who you who told, about what you talking who you about? You told that to. Why me? you stop? You because you had an injury. Why you stop playing it overseas? I gained. I was. I was big, bro. I gained a lot of. I gained a lot of weight, man. Once I got out, my first job back after the wheelchair was in Kuwait. I was like three hundred and twenty pounds, bro. Whoa. But you got to so. Nah, that shit didn't matter. My plan weight was motherfucking 26, 206, 210. That's the big difference. You know what I mean? I was in a wheelchair for two and a half years. When the motherfuckers said, yo, you too big? I said, I'm done. And that's why I gave it, that's why I gave it up. So you, you didn't stop playing because you had an injury. You stopped playing because you was overweight. Look, like you dropped the you like you yeah, dropped the weight. Yeah, I'm back. I'm back. I got sexy back. <laughs> yeah. Any of your daughters play? My daughter. Any of your My daughter is in Maryland. She played. She's in high school. She's in her junior year. My son. My son is going to California to uh, fucking Saint Kalinga. He going. He's in his freshman year playing. Look, you didn't slim up. You maybe you uh, get the Malaysia back. In Malaysia, Malaysia's hard to get back. Yeah, you, you already got him. <laughs> I ain't got it right now. We cool. That's all. Oh, you ain't since y'all cool. Yeah. Tell her to hit me. <laughs> yeah, this is crazy. All right, listen, man. I want to say, uh, <laughs> hit us. Lenny said, hey, big head. Yeah, hey, boo, bro. <laughs> hey, boo, stay. Boo, stay. Boo, stay. Boo, stay. I like that. Yeah. I wanna, I wanna salute you, man. I wanna thank you for pulling up to the kitchen, yes, thank you. for 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 talking with us, for vibing with us. Episode thirty-two, thirty-two. You know, I for really making inspired. it. Yeah, for yeah making I, it I, I greatly appreciate this you, is bro. A, this is a prime example of what kids. not to do. Not even what not to do. <laughs> what you, what who you know will get you in the door, and what you know will keep you. There. Yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah